What's going on guys? Crazy NBA back with another video and today we are going to be talking about whatever happened to Kemba Walker and where is he now? It seems like the four-time All-Star just fell off the face of the earth and nobody has heard the name Kemba Walker in a long time but surprisingly Kemba is still in the league. Let's take a look at his journey and how he got to where he is today. Kemba went to UConn which is not too far from where he grew up in the Bronx. The small quick guard put up some great numbers at UConn. He averaged 16 points, 4 assists, and almost 2 steals per game. In 2011, UConn was written off by everyone, but a little point guard had something else in mind. Cardiac Kemba led UConn on a crazy 11 game run through the March Madness tournament. With little time running down, Kemba called for an ISO on the Pittsburgh Center and hit a game winner in Madison Square Garden to win the championship. This shot might be one of the greatest buzzer beaters in March Madness history. This insane March Madness run really helped Kemba's draft stock. Walker decided to declare for the NBA draft and it wasn't really a surprise for anyone. Kemba was selected 9th overall by the Charlotte Bobcats on the 2011 draft. The Charlotte Bobcats select Kemba Walker. And let's just say Kemba was not drafted into the best situation. The second he put on a Bobcats jersey, he was supposed to be a star. Also, the team had just been bought by Michael Jordan the year prior. Jordan spent $275 million to purchase the Bobcats. Kemba had literally no help his rookie year. The 2011 Bobcats were the worst team in NBA history. The Bobcats only won 7 games during the lockout season and finished with a final record of 7 wins and 59 losses. When you look at this roster, you can see why they were so bad. The Bobcats were relying too much on a 22-year-old Kemba Walker and Bismack Biombo to carry the team to victory every night. At one point during the season, the Bobcats went on a 23-game losing streak, which is the third longest losing streak in NBA history. The team was a walking meme, and there were tons of jokes about the organization all over social media. The Bobcats had a lot of role players in big-time roles and getting big-time minutes, kind of similar to the current Utah Jazz. Only three players from the 2011 Bobcats team are still in the league today, and that is DJ Augustine, Bismack Biombo, and Kemba Walker. Even though the Bobcats had such a bad year, Kemba showed some signs of potential. Kemba finished the season second in scoring and second in minutes played per game for the Bobcats. In 2013, the Bobcats announced that they would change their name to the Charlotte Hornets once again for the 2014-2015 season. On the day the Bobcats changed their name to the Hornets, they reclaimed the history and records from the 1988 to 2002 Hornets. Charlotte, we're back! Kemba played really well in his time spent in Charlotte. In 2016, Kemba Walker made the All-Star team for the first time in his career. And he was also named an All-Star for the next two years in Charlotte. Kemba was a walking highlight reel and so fun to watch. But... Like anything, all good things must come to an end. In the summer of 2019, when Kemba made All-NBA third team, he became eligible for a Supermax contract. The Hornets didn't offer Kemba the Supermax he thought he deserved, so Kemba decided to hit free agency. Kemba signed a $141 million four-year max contract deal with the Boston Celtics. It was a perfect opportunity, like a perfect team. fit. Like, they just they needed a point guard. Yep. Um, and, you know, I just wanted, I wanted to play with, you know, guys who... Uh, with, with the organization who was on the winning path. For sure. You know what I mean? Um, Kemba seemed to be in a great position in Boston. The Celtics had recently lost Kyrie Irving to free agency, and Kemba Walker came in to be the next starting point guard. He was going to be teamed up alongside Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, and a great roster. In his first year with Boston, Kemba was named an All-Star for the fourth time in his career. He averaged 20 points per game, 3.8 rebounds, one steal, and 4.8 assists while wearing a Boston Celtics uniform. I don't know if Celtics fans just hated Kyrie so much for leaving, but at one point during Kemba's career, there was a debate that Kemba was better than Kyrie Irving. Celtics fans loved having Kemba Walker on their roster. Kemba seemed to be the missing piece that Boston needed. He was a playmaker and a great mentor for the young guys, but he was a defensive liability. When Kemba wasn't in the game, backup point guard Marcus Smart would come in and help the Celtics get stops on defense. Kemba did struggle with some knee problems and a scary neck injury while he was in Boston. The knee injuries really slowed him down because Kemba was known for being a fast explosive guard, but now he wasn't the same. Kemba only played two seasons in Boston and then his time was cut short. The Celtics traded Walker to the Thunder in June of 2021 in exchange for big man Al Horford and Moses Brown. Oklahoma City took him with the goal of flipping him, but with two years and $74 million left on his deal, Walker's trade market was severely limited. Walker was bought out by the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now, you might be wondering, why did the Thunder buy out Kemba? 
Here's the truth. The team understood that this is not Kemba's final destination in his career, and he did not fit in with the organization's future. Instead of chasing more assets, they found a more valuable route than a protected first round pick. More minutes for their young players. Now this is where Kemba's career started taking a turn for the worse. Walker joined the Knicks after being bought out by the Oklahoma City Thunder. This seemed like a dream scenario for Walker. He was now the hometown kid playing for the hometown team. It's an indescribable feeling, you know. Um, it's very rare that guys get a chance to play professionally in their hometown, you know. But this didn't go according to plan. Walker struggled on offense with the Knicks and still had injuries that were bothering him. Walker was benched in just his 20th game with the Knicks and finished the year averaging career lows. He averaged 11.6 points, 3.5 assists, and 25 minutes across 37 games. The Knicks thought it would be best for Kemba to sit out and focus on preparing his body for the 2022-2023 season. On draft night, the Knicks traded Kemba Walker and the draft rights of Jalen Duran, who was the 13th overall pick, to the Pistons. This seems like a fresh new start for Kemba, and he could finally prove that he was still capable of being an NBA point guard. But sadly, on October 17th, 2022, Kemba was waived by the Pistons before the season even started. Kemba didn't make the final 15-man roster for the Detroit Pistons. The NBA season started and Kemba Walker wasn't on any team's roster. He kept waiting for a team to give him a call and give him an opportunity. And on November 28, 2022, the Dallas Mavericks decided to give the 32-year-old point guard a chance. Kemba Walker was a free agent for 42 days, but now he was back on an NBA roster. Walker signed with the Dallas Mavericks on a one-year non-guaranteed deal. Kemba came into Dallas knowing his role. He is there to mentor Luka Doncic and to be a backup point guard. Kemba's stats have been solid so far in the seven games that he has played with the Mavericks. He is averaging 10.8 points per game, 2.8 assists, and 2.7 rebounds. Kemba is still a capable three-point shooter who especially finds success off the catch as with most other shooters. I sadly think Kemba's career is coming to an end. Injuries ruined his career and he has had tons of problems, especially with his hips and knees. Kemba is not as explosive as he used to be. I think Kemba has a couple years left in the tank and maybe he will get bounced around the league some more. I don't think he will ever be a starting point guard in the NBA ever again. It's really sad to see an all-star become a free agent in just a matter of a couple years. No matter what happens to Kemba Walker, he will go down as one of the greatest Hornets players of all time, and he will forever be known for making defenders look silly. But let me know in the comments if you think Kemba's career is over, and if you think he had the hardest fall off in NBA history, or do you somehow think Kemba Walker could turn his career around? Thank you guys so much for watching. These videos sometimes take days or even weeks to make, so please show some love by hitting that like button. Till next time, peace!